this video we will discuss how to access your Microtik device so how to access your Microtik device there are various ways or utilities that you can use in order for you to access your Microtik device so namely you can use your favorite internet browser you can use Google Chrome Mozilla Firefox for example you can use your Telnet or SSH client you can use Microtik app and finally Microtik Winbox but before we go to our demonstration so we need to know the Microtik defaults so once you purchase your Microtik uh, it comes with a default configuration so the following are the default uh, configuration or information so the IP address is 192.168.88.1 the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 you have uh, CIDR notation which is slash 24 so Microtik is actually using the CIDR or the classless interdomain routing notation slash 24 so for login purposes you have admin as the username so it is the only username that is uh, built in in the configuration so for this user there is no password so we will demo how to configure or open or access the Microtech device via the ways or utilities uh, listed here so in this demo I will show you how to use the utilities in order to access our Microtech device so first you can use any internet browsers so in my case I have Google Chrome of course if you have your own preferred internet browsers Mozilla Firefox Internet Explorer Safari etc of course you can use them so I will now double click or open my Google Chrome internet browser so in this scenario my computer is directly connected to one of the local area networking ports of the Microtik device so it means my computer has acquired an IP address of 192.168.88 that's something which is on the same local area network with that of the Microtik device of course in the near future you will know or realize that you don't need or your computer doesn't need to be on the same network as your Microtik device it could carry a different IP but still be able to access your Microtik of course it will involve the aspect of routing so here I will be able to type on the internet uh, browser the IP address 192.168.88.1 which is the default IP of your Microtik so press enter so you are now inside the quick set page or menu if you will so basically you would see that Microtik has a 192.168.88.1 IP address so you can click on the web fig so this is now the admin or configuration page for your Microtik wherein most of the things or settings that you need to access or go to in order to configure your Microtik is available 
of course if you are familiar of the command line so you can click terminal so this one is for you to log out so basically the login is admin there is no password so you can just click on the login and you are back again on the web administration page of your microtik so this is the web fig so this is method or access utility number one which is using your internet browser now we will go to the other ways on how to access your microtik next you can use a telnet or ssh utility in order to access your microtik device so in my case i have putty or putty so i will open putty so there are few options for you to access microtik so you have via telnet port 23 via ssh port 22 or using a serial so of course if your microtik or router board has a serial port you can use this one in order to connect to your microtik but in our case we have a microtik device that don't have as any serial port so we can only select or choose telnet or ssh so the port is by default 23 so all you need to do is type in the IP address so 192.168.88.1 so click open so you are asked to log in so password so admin and there's no password so you are now inside the microtik device so you can use command lines in order to view existing settings or configure your microtik so in this case I will I'm just viewing some of the settings so let's print so I have a hub AC light the following firmware all right so let us try ssh now so it's the still the same ip 192.168.88.1 but now on the default port uh, 22 sorry so login us admin so we still have the same and you are now inside the marketing device all right so basically this is available or you can access your microtik via telnet and ssh because by default microtik opens or is listening on port 23 and 22 respectively okay so we have a microtik app downloaded via play store for example we open so we have go to discovery to discover if there is any microtik device so we are connected via Wi-Fi and we have discovered one microtik. So we try to connect via MAC address. So add me no password. Click connect. So as you can see, we are successfully connected to our hub AC light. Let's try opening some menus. You go to interfaces. So you will see that there are few interfaces for this particular microtik device. So we go to some other menus such as wireless. So you will see we have YLAN 1 and YLAN 2 for this device. So let's go back. 
and exit to this connection let's try to discover and connect via IP address this time so admin no password connect so as you can see you can we are still able to connect to our microtik via IP address so let's open some bridge so we have a single bridge as a default configuration for this microtik device so you could see CPU memory uptime as well on microtik app and along with other settings so we'll disconnect for this demonstration so finally we have microtik winbox so this utility i should say is the go-to utility of many microtik users or practitioners so this could be downloaded on the Microtik official website so under software you go to Winbox so you have some options here whether your computer is a 64-bit or a 32-bit so in my case I have already downloaded so I will open so this is the look of Winbox so on top you have connect to login and password so connect to so you have some options whether you connect via mac address or you connect via ip address so of course login is admin password is none so some tip or some note so if you are using a higher version winbox and you are trying to access a uh, microtik with a lower or older firmware you might check this setting under tools which is legacy mode so it should answer or solve your problems in connecting in those scenarios so I will select MAC address as my way to connect to this microtik. Of course I can select via IP address. So in the previous utilities we have tried via IP because of course uh, you can only connect via IP addresses on those. So I will click connect. So we are now inside the microtik win box so if you'll notice the appearance is about the same as the web fig so you still have the menus all the menus wherein you can find the settings for you to be able to configure your microtik device so just now we open system router board so you can go to system menu and router board and it will show you your device information so in this video I hope you learn how to access your microtik device using the fa various ways or using utilities such as internet browser Telnet or SSH client, Microtik app, and finally Microtik Winbox.